Good evening, everybody. We'll begin with some meditation. So bring your attention to your body and mind. Establish a comfortable posture. Maybe take some deep breaths just to get to know the feeling of your breathing <clears throat> so that you can make the breath the object of your mind at this time. So let go of all the other thoughts about other kinds of business. And just notice your body, how you're feeling, but then let it go. So whatever sensations you're feeling around your body, feel pleasure or pain, comfortable or a bit uncomfortable, try to be patient with that <clears throat> and let go of these concerns and bring all your attention to that sensation of the breath either at the tip of the nostrils or the chest or the abdomen you pick a spot and you take the deep breath just to establish that feeling of contact so the breath comes in you know it There's always a pause and then you breathe out. If you've been busy doing other things before you came to sit here now, you probably notice your breath is not yet very relaxed. Maybe you've been moving around doing things so you're a little bit physically agitated, you've been using your muscles, moving around. <clears throat> or maybe your state of mind is agitated from talking or doing other business. So be patient with that, just notice how you feel in the body, how you feel in your mind and accept it. It's just the way you are at this time. And the breath is one clue to how you are. You'll notice your breath changes. So if you sit still for a while, your breath tends to become more subtle, more refined. So focusing on the breath is a very good way to deal with any kind of mental agitation, anxiety, irritation. Because as you focus on the breath, it has a very calming effect on the mind. You're actually doing something very good for yourself. So it's an act of kindness or compassion for yourself to bring your attention to the in-breath and the out-breath. If you're able to turn your attention to the breath, let go of some of that, that mental agitation then this is an act of compassion for yourself as a human being. It will help your mind to improve at this very moment. And give you confidence that you can, can let go of all kinds of agitation, worry. So as we're sitting here, you'll notice that the longer you sit, your body starts to relax, get used to the sitting posture. And the stillness of the body will affect your breathing. 
Your breathing tends to settle down into a relaxed rhythm. You don't have to make it do anything, but you just notice that. You may become quite subtle. So you really have to concentrate. Keep the breath in mind, because if it becomes subtle and refined, it will be very easy to lose awareness of the breath and fall back into thinking or sleepiness. So every once in a while, if you're not sure where your mind is or you're getting distracted, just pause and take a couple of deep breaths again to bring your mind back to the present moment. Our habit is to think of the past. That's easy. Memories and images and th thoughts about the past pop up into the mind and we just string them out, create stories, go over and over things that have already happened. Or else we bring up thoughts, ideas, <clears throat> plans, images directed to the future. But now our task is just to become aware of the present moment by using the breath as an object of mind. And to do this you need mindfulness and clear awareness. You need to remind yourself what you're doing, where your mind should be at this time. Your aim is to pay attention to the sensation of the in-breath and the out-breath. Mindfulness is not like money. Most people, they think about their money, they're careful with their money, they don't want to spend all their money, they need some for later. Mindfulness is not like that. The more mindfulness you use, the better. If you can be mindful every moment of the breath coming in, the breath going out, that's fine. So the Buddha said, mindfulness is always beneficial to us. You never have to run out of it because it arises through our own efforts and these are internal effort. Even if you're tired or even if you're ill, or injured, you can still turn your attention to the breath and become mindful of your breath. Even at the end of your life, you can follow the breathing. This will help to keep your mind calm and let go of any fear or aversion that may be arising at the very end of your life. So mindfulness and the breath are becoming 
one at the moment. You're keeping the breath in mind, recollecting the breath. And every moment you do that, your mind is in a more wholesome, more skillful state. It's better, better off. Because you're letting go of everything else. So whatever's happened earlier today, you can let it go. Tomorrow is another day, but it hasn't arrived yet, so you can let that go. Your aim is to keep your mind with the breath from moment to moment, right here, right now. So that we'll we'll do this for a little bit longer until you hear the sound of the bell. <laughs> 